Hi there. Um, I'm just gonna gush. I'm just going to try uh, and do something with these butterflies that Chris has sent me. And <laughs> I'm just. I'm still overwhelmed. I really am uh, overwhelmed by what she's done. Look, I made myself a little box to house these <coughs> and my um, 3D glitters and that. Because all these, and I've put a divider in it. All these little boxes come in really handy. So what I'm going to do is just take that one out. I don't need that one. And yes, I'm sorry. It's going. Uh, is it going to be? No, I think I'll make a green one. I'll make the two tone green. Why not? Oops. So need to find the right one. That one's that. Don't think I've used that one yet. No, I haven't. So. And use that for that, and that for that. And I've put the colours on the ends, look, just dabbed them on the ink pad. It's really easy. Then you know what you've, uh, which ones you, you've got. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, first of all, just colour in the whole of the butterfly. I think she's cut these out on a Cricut. So please, Chris, if you have done these on your Cricut, um can you let me know which um, cartridge it is? Because I want to start and collect them now. I have to, don't I? But I just want those that I really like. And this is, I love this. I love this butterfly. So I'm going to do that with that one. And then I'm going to do exactly the same again with this one really carefully. I'll take that little bit off. need to be careful when they cut like this. I absolutely love these butterflies, Chris. I really do. So that's what I'm going to do with that one so far. Just pop that one back in its box. Um, pop that back in there. And take this one. And what I'm going to do, I'll do this one first. I'm just going to do the edges. Like that. I want to try and get this in one if I can. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you should want to darken the edges a bit more. I was going to do purple, but then I thought, you must be sick of seeing purple now. <laughs> oh, well, I can't help it. I do purple all the time. My husband can't believe I've got that cricket, you know. He can't believe that you sent it. He said, my word, there's some generous people out there. I said, I know. And there are. Really generous. Oh, Olga, another thing. I won't be long. I'm going to do your uh, thing this week as well while I'm off the base of it. It's all glued together. I just now need to um, just sort it out, basically. Right, just pop that in there. Look, I'm all blathered, blathered in blooming ink this week. Oh, I need that one, don't I? So I'm going to leave that one out. So what I'm going to do just for now is... Um, I'm going to snip off those wings, and you'll see why. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think I need the body. I'll keep the body, I don't know. Okay. Now I'm just going to get a, a piece of card. Oh, there it is. This one, what I do my bits on. Um, just let me get my stamp. I forgot to get it, so. Uh, I'm just going to 
we'll try it with this one first. This is all trial and error, I'll have you know. <laughs> but, you know, I do love this stamp. And then what I'm going to do... That way, isn't it? Yeah. Make sure you've got it the right, right way around. And just do that. Again, and just because there's nothing on that little bit, we can put something on it. Do that one as well. There we go. Now I've done that with the stays on in the green. Just leave that to dry. And then what I'm going to do with this now is take the 3D glitter. Right, what I've done now is I've just taken the uh, pine needles and done the underneath of the butterfly just to give it a bit of colour. You're not really going to see it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to score when I can find my um where's my blade? There it is. Get my little ruler. Turn the blade upside down and just score from wing top wing to bottom wing. And all that is going to do is to ease it for when I want to bend it like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do here is attach the wing just there. And I am going to use the, the glue. Just wipe my... Uh, pop that back. Like that. Do the other side. You have to do this. Work quickly because you're not using a lot of uh, glue. Like that. just like that but then just poke the wings up see that's them might not work with this actually might have to use different glue that's fine just pull that back while you uh, where's my thing on you could actually just do this first. I'm just painting this uh, glitter onto it, but you could do this first. Just get a coat underneath of the glitter. But I was worried about it not sticking properly. And you don't need much of it at all. Like that. So I'm just making sure that it didn't go in a place where the glue's going to sit so that it... Uh, came off it doesn't always stick to glitter glue like that and then take some of this um, I'm going to do it down the middle that's getting plenty of glitter on it pop the lid back on there because it dries so quick pop that in the wash and then what I'm going to do is decorate that up now What I'm going to do is bend them over like that. 
I like my butterfly wings bent over slightly. Just bend them over my finger. Like that. And then I'm going to decorate the... Um, I'm going to find my tweezers. I've got this nice green pearls. Okay, they never turn over when you want them to, do they look? <laughs> they flip over. So where I'm going to put these is, I'm going to put one on the end here. Oops. Oh, see, I can't pick them up either. Do you know, I feel at the moment like I'm flustered, and I'm not, but I'm just, because I've been crafting the last couple of days, I've got it all out again, and it, I've, I feel like I'm getting claustrophobic again. I'm just going to put one here. I still hope you're uh, following. I've put a little bit of uh, one pearl on the end of that wing. I'm just doing the next one here. Oh, turn over. Stick them to my fingers. And that's that. Pop that away. And then what I'm going to do is I've got some wire and I've got some green. Not a very good green actually. No, the one underneath the one I want. Ha <laughs> ha! Have to unravel it all and then wind it back up on a mind I need to find another spool for it. So I've got three different greens on this wire. So I'm just going to pop that there. This is the one I'm after. Uh, get my pliers. Cut that off. Now I should, I'm not sure if I can do it with this. You straighten wire out the same, same way you curl. Um, you know that um, this stuff at Christmas, that kind of ribbon. The same way you curl that is the same way you un uncurl uh, wire. I'm not sure if you knew that. Just run it onto something hard. Mine's my metal thing. Like that. And it'll uncurl it. Right. And then all I'm going to do is fold that in half, pull that, pinch that together and I'm going to cut that take my other pliers, my round pliers I can't see, and this light is horrendous 
just do that I turn mine over and just do it in the opposite way like that but what I want to do <coughs> excuse me what I want to do now before I attach it to that if I've got enough which I might not have actually oh one I need two more pearls no my look I won't have them is that a greeny one no oh come on I only want one more Right, well, we'll just use white ones then. I thought I had two. Doesn't look like it, so never mind. What I'm going to do now is just add a touch of glue onto... I can get it to work. I need a new one, sorry. Uh, not a new glue gun, a new stick in it. And we're just going to pop that onto there. And same again there. Like that. And then I'm just going to slightly bend them. And then attach them to the underneath. Like this. Oops. Put them underneath like that. Make sure they're straight. And there you go. You've got a beautiful um, butterfly. I like to bend mine a little bit. It just gives them a little bit of shape. Like that. Take all the stringy bits off. So I hope you like that. I'll get it as close as I can.